Today, we're gonna to be talking about barbershop etiquette. Something every jet should know. We're gonna start with the most important, be on time. If you set up an appointment, make sure you're there. Exactly, I mean, your barber's probably, if he's a good barber, he's booked throughout the day. And if you show up 15 minutes late into your haircut, he's either gonna one, rush your haircut, or two, make every other customer he has for the rest of the day wait because you were late. Yeah, so don't throw a wrench in his schedule because you're running late. So have the common courtesy to simply call and let him know that you're gonna be late or you're not gonna make it. Posture is also key. Whenever you're on the chair, you wanna make it easier for your barber to do his job. Right, and don't cross your legs as well because any angle that you sit at is the angle that your haircut is gonna be cut straight at. So if you're tilted like this, your haircut straight, you're gonna look like Gumby. Yeah, you don't want that. So he'll elevate you or he'll lower you, depending on your size, mm -hmm. but just make sure your shoulders are squared and you just focus on getting that haircut. When you give directions on how you want a haircut, it's important to give directions, but don't over direct. Like if it helps, bring a photo of what you're, what you're looking for, but also make sure that the guy that is in the photo has the same hairstyle, or not even hairstyle, but hair, texture and length of hair that you have. You can't come in with a haircut like me and Blake and be like, give me Leonardo DiCaprio from The Great Gatsby because <laughs> uh, it's not gonna work out. No, so just make sure it's achievable. And make sure that, because as guys, we're all over the place. So if you come in with a picture, just take out your phone and show him, he'll tell you more or less, this can be done or it can't be done. Don't use industry or technical terms. Don't be too wordy and just keep it simple. A high fade to one barber might be completely different than the barber down the street or even the barber in the chair next to your barber. What a high fade to them is could be a totally different length. So you kind of just want to point it out, you know, say, you know, taper it here. Give them, give them like clear directions, but let them do their own work. Yeah, honestly, the best way to get a haircut is to show a picture and tell them that you want it a little shorter right here or a little longer right here and you want to make it like a gradual increase. Right, but don't don't worry about so much using numbers, like I want a one on the sides or a two up top or take an inch off the top. Let the barber kind of feel it, feel it out and you know make it work for your hair and face type. Like, it might not be exactly an inch, but it's gonna look right and yeah, for, feel good. Yeah, unless you're getting a buzz cut, numbers shouldn't be in your vocabulary. Remember when you're getting a haircut that style and function don't necessarily go together. Yeah, if you're a guy who doesn't like to spend at least 10 minutes on your, on your hair in the morning, don't get this haircut or that haircut. There's a happy medium somewhere between you know style and function, but it's it's a very fine line where you can kind of get that haircut that you can just wake up and you know do like a little ruffle and walk out the door and look acceptable. Yeah, we're all not Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> and if you bring a guest, don't let them dictate your haircut. Right, stay in control of your haircut. Like, if you your, your haircut's finished up, you love it, don't let your girlfriend be like, no, you should probably take it a little shorter on the sides. Just, you know, there's nothing more frustrating to a barber than someone else dictating which you're gonna like. So stay in control of what you like and speak up for yourself. But yeah, don't be afraid to tell your barber, I, like, I want it a little shorter or let's leave it longer on top. Just let him know. Exactly, I mean, even if you finish up your haircut and you realize that you know you want a little a little bit tighter or a little... Yeah, a little, know, a little shorter in size. Just tell him, he'll take care of it. It's better than walking out with a bad haircut and you know leaving a bad taste in your mouth because you feel like you got a bad haircut when you just didn't speak up. Because so ultimately, he wants you to feel the best about your haircut. And he wants you to come back and get another haircut. When you're getting your haircut, just remember that you don't need to make eye contact to have a conversation. Yeah, so if you're shaving your neck, don't try to look up. Let him do his job. Just speak to him looking down. He can hear you. Don't mess with your hair. Keep your hands out of your head and just let his hands be doing the work. Right, if your barber's pushing your hair to the left, you don't need to be pushing it back to the right because he's probably pushing it that way for a reason so he can you know, cut a nice part or I don't know, taper it well. Just let him do his thing. Yeah, and like George said, if he's, if he's edging that part, you're going to want him to be precise. So by you messing it up, it's going to be downhill from there. And stay off that phone. If you have a text, your Instagram's blowing up, or you're viewing Gents Lounge, 
just put that aside. Yeah, it's gonna take 30 minutes max to get a haircut, and I'm pretty sure anything that you have can wait 30 minutes. And the last thing is, you get what you pay for. If you go to a barber shop that charges, you know, 40 bucks for a cut versus a barber shop that charges 8 bucks for a cut, you're probably getting barbers that have been cutting hair for a while, more experienced, know what they're doing. There's certain barbers that specialize in certain types of haircuts. So if you're looking for a specific type, do some research and go there. Right, call ahead, ask, ask about the barbers, you know, go visit the barber shop before you go in and need a cut. Don't just go in that day and be like, can I get a haircut 20 minutes from now? Like, make an appointment, schedule it. A haircut's kind of an important thing because, you know, people, you can't cover up your hair unless you wear a hat every day. And chances are, if you have a real job, you can't wear a hat every day. <laughs> So we just want to thank Alex and uh, the guys over at Blind Barber for helping us put this list together. They just really you know, took the time to give us a good guide on what uh, every gent needs to know on how to get a haircut. So thanks to them. We'll have links to them down below as well. And uh, be sure to f subscribe and follow us at Gents Lounge on Instagram. And uh, hashtag your pictures, Gents Lounge. Don't forget to tip. <laughs>